A lot we do not know about the shooter in the Dayton killing. CNN's chief investigative correspondent Drew Griffin is there for us tonight. So I understand you interviewed at least a half dozen students who went to high school with this shooter several years ago. Uh, talk about what they had to say. Well, we can tell you as a high school student, the shooter here had threatened a kill list to several students in his high school class, classmates. At least four students who say they were told by school officials at the time that they were on these lists, Anderson, describe it as a kill list for boys, a rape list for girls. Girls who apparently turned down his advances were also faced with threatening language from the shooter. Uh, one man said, uh, told us that he was on a school bus. He rode the school bus with the shooter and said during, during his sophomore He actually was on the bus when police boarded the bus, came down the hall of the bus, and took the shooter off, uh, arresting him. Uh, he disappeared for about a year and eventually did come back to school, but it was during that time when this, this year, and he did eventually go back to high school and graduate in 2013. Uh, and you said he came back a changed guy in what way? Uh, according to the students, he came back and uh, seemed to be changed. He was uh, active in the band. He played the baritone yearbook. He was uh, prominently featured as a, in role-playing uh, in acting. And although he did like to listen to very strong, heavy metal music, he didn't seem to be bothering anybody. School officials told us this afternoon that he did graduate because it was six years ago. They did not have any records to share with us concerning this hit list or kill list. Uh, but he did appear to be a changed person after he was taken out of school his sophomore year. So a after that incident in high school... Well, ...with, with uh, the police and his arrest, was he on law enforcement's radar? You know, as far as we know at this point, no, the Dayton police chief in his news conference says he was not on their radar, certainly. We will, of course, be doing a lot more digging to see uh, what kind of uh, you know, police interaction they had maybe during his high school.